this video I'm going to be teaching you guys some fundamental things about audio. The first thing you need to know is what is a headphone target? What is a headphone target? A target response. Diffuse field is kind of like the, the default. That's like a blank slate. Uh, and we can see the diffuse field target in like lime green right here. We can see it, it goes like this up then like that. Okay. And all of these other lines we can see are various popular headphones, like the very expensive Sennheiser HD800S, the DT990s with worn pads that I use, the Sennheiser HD560S that some people glamorize, the AKG K712 just because of how crazy the bass is. We're going to look at that. And then the Audio-Technica M50X. So some of you guys probably use these types of headphones. Now we can see that they all have wildly different frequency responses. But one thing you'll notice is they all have way more low frequencies, emphasized frequencies, than the diffuse field target right here. So diffuse field, everybody knows that diffuse field measurement is very shouty which is the reason why we can see a lot of headphones scoop out this region. You see how only one headphone in purple? One headphone in purple is emphasized right here. All of the other ones scoop it down. They're, they're basically scooping out some of the ear gain. The reason why this region is emphasized is that's like the ear gain. It's just what your ear is most sensitive to. And people found that if you have a headphone that's flat here that follows the ear gain, that it will sound very in your head and kind of shouty. So what they did is they scooped it out a bit, which alleviates that shout. They also found that the diffuse field target sounds very thin and anemic. Uh, it's not warm enough, it's not bassy enough. So all of these headphones, for the most part, are warmer and bassier than the uh, diffuse field target. Now once we get into the treble, uh, a lot of these deviations are from like low quality. Like some headphones just cannot reproduce a treble very well. So they have huge peaks and dips and cuts and boosts. So, but you'll notice that below like 5K, the majority of these headphones are extremely smooth. But once they get into the higher frequencies, it gets very stabby, peaky, it gets very jittery. And that's coloration problems, deterioration in the high frequencies. Closed back headphones typically uh, can sound pretty wonky throughout the entire response. So that's the reason why you want to get open back headphones. They tend to sound smoother and more transparent throughout the response. So again, let's, we are looking at the diffuse field target. There is a target called the Harman target, which is basically, uh, they do a, 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 a 10 dB bass boost. It's kind of hard to see. They do a bass boost here. Um, they, they, they roll off a lot of the high frequencies be, because they think a uh, diffuse field is too bright. But you'll notice that now all of these headphones look a bit flatter in the highs because they they scooped out the ear gain and um, that's mainly it and they rolled off the highs a little bit. They did a bass boost so it makes all these headphones look like they have weak bass all of a sudden uh, below 200 hertz. Um, but we can see that, that now the M50X in purple, Audio-Technica M50X in purple, now look very prominent around 3K. They look very shouty, very prominent there. Because, again, they do not scoop out the ear gain like the Harman target says you should. Okay, so, since the Harman target is like the only target that's like attempting to be a industry standard, a lot of people uh, worship the Harman target. But a lot of people think the Harman target doesn't sound very good. They think it sounds thin. They think the high frequencies sound a bit failed. Um, they think they sound... Okay, let me, let me show you. So this 
This is my my headphone target on the diffuse field. Both the Harman target and my target have a scoop in the high mids at 3K, okay, to widen the sound stage so it doesn't sound shouty. It has diffuse field level treble, ex treble extension. It has a 10 dB bass boost right here. The Harman target in comparison kind of looks like, let me show you. It's flat. It's flat here. That's kind of how the Harman target is. It, it kind of has this mud cut on the Harman target. Uh, so some people say that, you know, this is a warm headphone uh, target that I have. You know, it sounds too muddy. So they scoop it out until 200 hertz and then they do the boost. Um, but again, uh, Harman target also has the ear cane scoop right here. Like so. Okay. But the Harman target like starts to like uh some people think that you should you should go like this. Some people think that you should go like this. Okay. Now the effect of doing this, the effect of doing this. Some people think that this is a good frequency response. Um uh, the effect of this is this region sounds thin and subwoofery. So we have a lot of emphasis to the subwoofer, sub, sub bass. We have a lot of emphasis to the sub bass. And we can see some of the, the bass frequencies here sound thin. This is where a lot of the real bass is. It's called like the mid bass. Um, that's where a lot of impact is. So it's not just like warmth but it's also like impact. And this adds uh, warmth to like people's voices. We can see here, you know, these are the fundamental frequencies, the, the body of the human voice. So if you scoop that out, uh, like the Harman target, it makes it sound thin and anemic and subwoofery. So if you have this bass, if you have that bass, it sounds warmer and fuller and it has more impact, okay? Now, if you roll off the treble here, it sounds a lot darker. Um, so one of the effects that some people have not considered is um, if you scoop this region out and you scoop this region out, okay, so both these regions, thin, dark. Now you have a lot of energy in this region Okay, so now this region is very prominent because you scooped out the highs and you scooped out the warmth. So this, this tuning, this tuning has a lot of sub bass. So this is very subwoofery, very thin, uh, very shouty, and very veiled. Okay, so this, this makes this region very prominent even though it's rolling off a little bit here. Um, it's very prominent. Uh, which makes it, you know, because there's not enough highs, there's not enough low mids or mid bass. Um, so you end up having a lot of energy here. Uh, but if you have, if you have this, and you have this, now this region is less prominent, okay? Because these regions and these regions are covering up this region a little bit better. Okay, so now you bring back the brightness, the speech, the articulation, the sibilance, and you warm up the sound so that the human voice has more body, more warmth. Okay, um, now let's say, for example, uh, this is completely flat without any bass boost. If it's completely flat on a headphone, it sounds very lifeless. The bass sounds very lifeless, like, you know, there's not enough emphasis. Some people call emphasis texture. Yeah, some people say like, oh, this bass has more texture. Typically what that means is it's bass boosted, so it's audible, uh, so it has more texture. It's more, you know, so you can hear the bass better. Uh, some headphones have poor bass extension, and it'll actually roll off, um, and that sounds really thin. So completely flat, it does have audible bass, it's ju it just does not have enough energy. A bass boost gives you enough energy so that it's impactful, so that you can feel 
feel it so that it sounds like you're close to the sound source. Proximity effect. Okay. Um, so again, uh, if you scoop out the treble here, it loses sibilance, brightness, articulation, clarity. Um, if, you, if you do not scoop this region out, it sounds uh, in your head. It, it, it sounds like there's not enough width. It doesn't have a sound stage. Okay, so all of this is like visible on this graph here with all these different headphones. Let me add one more. Let me add one more headphone. The 660. Uh, uh, let me add, uh, let me add, um, 660S. That headphone does not have much bass. Actually, let me get rid of that. Oh, let, let me add the 580. The 580. This is a discontinued headphone that some people glamorize. Um, okay. Oh, we, oh, we can't see it because we have too many headphones. We have too many headphones. Okay. Uh, let me, let me talk about, uh, some stuff first. Okay. Um, so the orange one, the orange one, the AKG K712, the AKG K712 in orange, um, The K712 in orange, we can see this one has a lot of emphasis from like 1000 hertz to 220 hertz. Okay, and that's very warm and muddy. Okay, that's very warm and muddy what we see there. The other headphones are not very muddy. They're not very, they're not overly muddy and warm. So that one headphone is, is really overly warm and muddy and it competes with the low bass frequencies. So that, that's bad. Okay, so let's get rid of the K712s. The K712s also have this 2 kilohertz peak right here. So let's get rid of the K712s. Okay, so some people could argue that some of these headphones have a little bit more mud than others, but really it's just a tiny bit of warmth. It's not like overly bloomy, overly bloated. The K712s are bloomy and bloated. As long as there's more bass, then low, you know, as long as there's more sub bass than mid bass or low mids, then you're pretty good. So as long as this region is a little bit weaker than the bass, the sub bass, um, you're pretty good. Um, so if we look at the one in green, the one in green is probably the one with the least bass emphasis. And that's the 560S. The 560S lose a lot of treble clarity. It dips down. It's scooped out right here on the 580S. So it has very poor treble extension. It has a lot of energy around 5.5K before the treble is ripped out. And it has very weak bass. Okay. Uh, some people glamorize that headphone. Um, it has very boring, lifeless bass. Okay, so now we have... Um, the HD 800S that has uh, it's 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 a warm headphone with a not enough deep bass. Okay, um, so and it has a wide sound stage. It has this treble cut problem. It's got this 6K peak problem on the HD 800S. Okay, so now we have the uh, M50X. We have the M50X in blue. Um, that have the, you know, they, they don't have the ear gain scoop, so they don't have sound stage. They have some messed up treble peaks. Um, they have a, a mud cut kind of thing going on here, so they sound a little bit thinner in the fundamentals. And they have about the same amount of bass. 
look like it's got that mud there at 200 hertz. Like it doesn't have enough sub bass because, you know, it rolls it off because it's open back. But a lot of people will demonize this headphone because they look at it on the Harman Target, which some people worship the Harman Target. So they, th they say, oh, look, it's too muddy. Oh, look, it doesn't have enough bass, deep bass, deep sub bass. Oh, look, it's way too bright. It's way too bright. So a lot of people are like, oh, you, you need to roll that off. You need to scoop that out. And you need to emphasize that, that deep bass. Um, but there's not that many people, uh, headphones and IEMs that actually have the Harman Target. And the headphones that do have the Harman Target, um, people will complain. Uh, people actually uh, complain about the Harman Target. They say that, it, you know, it's too thin and anemic here, um, and which results in it sound, sounding sub, subwoofery, like there's, there's too much emphasis in the, the, the low bass frequencies, the sub bass, and they think it sounds too thin here, too anemic. But some people would say, oh, that's mud, you know, that's, that's bad. And then they roll off the high frequencies. So, some people say the TT990s are too bright, they have too much treble extension and emphasis. But, if we look, uh, the end result of that scoop and that roll off is a lot more emphasis to this region here. Uh, so it ends up sounding very high mid forward. Uh, some people will say, you know, there's less focus on the treble, that it sounds too anemic and subwoofery. So it there's so people who worship the Harmon Target a lot of times will have very biased opinions about headphones with a treble extension, a diffuse field treble, and headphones that have warmth. Uh, but people who actually do end up buying headphones that follow the Harmon Target actually end up thinking that it sounds anemic and thin. It sounds like it, you have a. a, a, a a overemphasis to the sub bass, like a subwoofer. So you get this very thin, anemic, subwoofery sound. Um, because again, it sounds thin. It sounds thin and, you know, subwoofery, sub bass. Okay, so it sounds thin and subwoofery. Okay. Um, and, uh, so like if we look at a headphone that actually has the Harman target, there actually isn't many. So I, I can't even give you a good example, to be honest with you. Uh, pretty much nothing follows the Harman target. Uh, some people think the K371s, the K371s follow the Harman target. Um, but we can see it has a defect. It has this uh, defect at 4K, which is very bad. Um, we can see it, it does have some treble problems. It's not emphasized enough. Uh, we can see that the deep bass is a little bit wonky. It kind of has this scoop right here. So even a AKG Harman headphone that tries to copy the Harman target ends up having a problem spot in the treble and at uh, 4K. Um, but you know that 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 would technically be their considered transparent flat sound. Um, but uh, what else did I want to say? Uh, like I said, the end result. Um, let's put the 990s back. I, I use diffuse field. Harman Target is kind of like a colored propaganda sound. Uh, so again, we can see um, my headphones have a better 4K. They're more, my headphones are a lot more transparent. They have a lot more uh, treble extension. Uh, they don't have that 4K problem spot. Uh, they're slightly, slightly muddier. And since they're open back, they kind of roll off that last bit of sub bass. So people, if you look around the internet, people say the DT990s are super muddy. They're, they're way too bright. And, um, you know, it's, a, it's really ridiculous propaganda. Um, so, also, 